Hello there viewers, Sun Service here, back with Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Now, for those on Twitch, you're gonna be like, twice for six, and it's like, yeah, yeah, we did, we did bits and pieces, then I realised we didn't have dip installed. We do have dip but reinstalled again, thank god. Right, um, no, I don't need that anymore. I do want that, because I want to try and get the Scout Cruiser hull. Um, so, all you missed in the last episode was, we have taken a Atreya, we won a battle against the Italians, hence our victory points going a little more level, eh, still not great on us, but it's better than they were. Um, as well as also, diggity, um, we ran away from the Chinese with the backup force. Right, Connecticut has found the Roamer with export ship five. <laughs> Export ship 9 and one other ship. I know what their battleships are like, but I don't want to fight one battleship on one battleship. No, we're not selling. We're not selling. What the? Oh. We don't have enough crew for it. Typical. Another two months. Ohio's in combat. Mars and is the Friedrich three are coming out. Hold on a second. Let me sort by type. Yes, Lucian and Kaiser Friedrich three and two. The um, Mars out in one. I don't really, I don't purposely fight the ambushes, so. Indiana against their battle cruiser and a light cruiser. That one I'm confident, I'm more confident in winning. Norfolk and Montana. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight you with you guys. Ohio against some of their armored cruisers. Independence gets some. Okay, so we got three battles this turn that I am willing to fight. The naval invasion, by the way, is the Chinese naval invading us in Croatia. Now, trying to naval invade us in Croatia. <laughs> They haven't even moved ships into the invasion zone, one, but two, they don't even have enough tonnage for invasion. Okay, so export ship four and eight. Just back when I was like, I'm going to need to distinguish ships I give it from ships I purchased.
Indiana spells it. Destroys it in spot. Bullshit 4 is gone. Export ship four it's loss was not for nothing. <laughs> Export ship.
We're not going to explain the fact to the press that X Ship 4 didn't do anything before she was sunk, but, uh... Well, she did play an important role of throwing off the Italians' aim with the battle cruiser enough that then Indiana could come in and sink it. Okay, Ohio. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Vassal cruiser and heavy cruisers. There are enemy destroyers here. Okay. Ho hopefully you got your torpedo avoidance boots on. I think with everything else on the way, I can actually restart the building. Successive class. Perfect call it successive class. It's bigger guns, bigger speed, less armor, less secondary guns. Terry's gone. Right. The Harlan R. Dickinson. We have to sort of last time of uh, making sure that Ohio gets away on torpedo. Okay, Harlan R. Dickinson is also gone. No ammo. No ammo. Okay, their torpedoes are run dry. Destroyers, you death words entirely in vain. Transports. Well, if everyone is agreeable, we are going to go after the transports. As the priority, because. Yeah, if we can start the Italian economy, we will do great. Five inch guns are actually doing stuff.
changed us all. <laughs> Thousand victory points to one thousand. Not bad. Vice Admiral Stefan Makarov, one of the few competent Russian admirals of the twenty twentieth and twenty first century. <laughs> you call Ohio's damage light. But after seeing what Ohio went through, I'm not going to cover Ohio again. Okay, China gained a lead there. So we're in the lead on victory points now, 108,000 over. Um, 168,000, sorry, over. Um, 135,000. It ain't much, but should be enough to convince Italy to discontinue the war.
My thing had no effect, but then they immediately go for like piecing. And I'm going to not fight that one. Yeah, let's just peace out with the Italians. And then reevaluate our next two targets, which is China and the Russians. Now the not originally main fleet, but now main fleet would be my plan for them is to have them head out to the Black Sea and start raiding there. Invading there. While the what was main fleet but now is second secondary fleet is going to be returning to America. Where both fleets are right now is off the coast of South of South Africa because I pulled them back because I I honestly don't want to encounter any more Italian ships. We take Montenegro. We take Montenegro and we leave you alone. Two turns for bigger like cruises, but not the new hull yet. Okay, so down here we have Helena. You can head up there. Down there's the what was main fleet. This is the fleet that needs to head home because of the need of emergency repairs. You get suspended for four turns because I didn't even know you were. <laughs> Never mind. And then, main fleet. Put, put in brackets new main fleet. Um. You guys are going to. Enter the Black Sea. Ah, uh, all of various states repair. Turbo electrics are a while away. Better battleship funnels. Better crop, better cruisers. Those are going to be my priorities right now.
Now, because I want to be somewhat historical to the Americans, when we do get turbo-electric drive, I am going to build ships with it, because the Americans, as I mentioned, historically use turbo-electrics. Soviets consider Afghanistan a threat. Okay, that just need that just means um if they take it another place for me to take for peace offerings. Yeah, if I can get China out of the equation as well, then We've got a bonus. Right, you guys are off point. Alright, I'll fight for the France. Okay. And then you guys are entering the Black Sea this turn and will begin invading Georgia first, then whichever place is easiest after that. Probably Odessa and Ukraine area because yeah that area if we can deny Germany having it and have it for ourselves it's great more money for us Yeah, I'm not taking any of that stuff. Just give me more, just give me a lesser. You know, we are going to go straight for Ukraine because Germany are is already moving fast and I I want it. Okay, Spilato Spilato except for you, Kataro All of you. But yeah, we now control the Eastern Adriatic Which is great Three turns of battle cruiser free Yeah we're already building battle cruiser twos Get the freeze on the way Be great Oh yeah the fleet's returned I can tell from the <coughs> repairings and said repairs costs. Oh, we're at negative almost the exact amount we have of money. Yay! We live on an extra turn before we need to sacrifice budget. But, uh,. We need a sacrifice budget. Somewhere. Um, I'll get in contact with Mad Adam from Avocado and see if he set up the donation boxes in convenient places. Panama Canal has opened. They're not sending anything. <laughs> I 
they don't have much of a fleet. Okay, we are. St I. We're steamrolling. We're gonna do something that people in real life can't do and take over the country we are taking over in six months. <sighs> okay, that's a joke about current events over. Um, moving on. Swiftly on. Very, very, very swiftly on. Our budget is basically negative 69 million. Slightly less than that, but... Yeah, 69 million. It's more 68 and a half, but... Ah, Britain are provoking Japan. Luckily in this game, Japan can't do surprise attacks. <laughs> Just imagine if they could. That'd be scary. Okay, Germany and the Russians have signed peace. Prussia is in rebellion, okay. Oh, naval expenditure is too high. Um, okay, those who are first off, battle cruisers, battle cruisers that are the CVEs. Are being mothballed. Mothballed and will await. Um, new owners. Everyone that's not at sea go to in being. And that's cost reductions. Cost reductions enough to facilitate our needs. But yeah, those battle cruisers, in all honesty, weren't going to be used anyway. The battleships the Germans had and gave to us, and gave to us, those are. Very, very useful actually. Very useful. Because. Because of the layout, I was able to. Um, put their guns into. Ah, oh, the Soviets have sent the Soviet Navy. The Soviet Naval Squadron is more what I should prefer it has over to us to fight. Majority of the New Yorks in, in a port in port already. And they need a new superstructure on them. 
we are going to order a refit for all not at sea New Yorks which is all but one immediately to give them a midlife you can call it that midlife rebuild the New York's got refit 1906 they're 1902 so they're 12 years old 12 24 years 24 years is usually how long a capital ship would last Although I'm thinking that's on the older end of how long they last in real life. Yeah, good news. You get brand spanking new superstructure on board. Retrofit on a yes, I can retrofit with onto these guys the gun there, so they have been retrofitted out of. Guns. We can't get any small barbells like that. Fitted out the heavy, the heavy shells that is now commonplace on our ships. Also got Cortex 2 and new coincidence rangefinders.
There we go, 538, not 39s. Yeah! Nice New York. You got yourselves a massive reconstruction. Massive reconstruction, you didn't even need a naval treaty. Oh yeah, the... The Ostmarks... ...designs... ...are gone, because... ...we didn't... ...we're not keeping any of the Ostmarks in service. And if they don't get sold by the time the Franklins come out, and then especially by the time that the successors of the Franklins, which I'm about to design, come out, well, their outlook on life is being pulled apart, pulled apart for scrap, because we are not giving the ships back to Germany. Oh, well, it'd be cool to do that. That is the best one to go with. Again, while well, it'd be cool for the cage masks and stuff. So, the last design had six 14 inch guns. <laughs> I very much would like to at least keep the 14 inch guns on board. Yeah, the four damage guns are great. But there is a but. I want more. Two more to be exact. And we're to be fitted out in a layout just like this. Forty nines. Uh, no, sorry. Forty five caliber, thank you. Yeah, the six is too big. Five just enough. Okay, so, yeah, this is sort of carrying on my battlecruiser ways of fit more guns on and sacrifice everything to get those guns on. Except speed. Oh, what's this pulse ultimate speed? 28 knots. Like the, like the Franklins, yeah. Essentially, you're a super Franklin. Um, bad news for you guys. Um, you may not be getting the five inch thirty eights. Um,
Yeah, you will actually, you will get eight five inch thirty eights fitted on board. Eight twin five inch thirty eight. And then the rest of your mountains are twin twin three point one inch whatever the hell caliber the three point ones were given. design. I've just thought of one minor, minor issue I haven't considered. Armor. What the hell am I going to armor these things with slash against? Okay, so crook bottom free flood free bulkhead reinforcements anti torpedo two for now, although the two no we're gonna up go free. I after the battle of Bar, we can't sacrifice on taking the torpedo reaction. Or at least not for a while, sacrifice on it. Alright, two, harvest, hydro, hydro, shell size, heavy shells. Yeah, we're not giving out its armor at 20 inch. The uh, Tiggity Togas, Saratogas, are 14 and a half inch belts. Franklin, I think we fit 15 inch on the belts. So. Let's give you Franklin's belt. And we give you give you five extendeds and then we'll give you our normal deck superstructure and then conning tower. So after four. <laughs> okay. Honestly, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Still not the best, but in Jeremy Clark's voice, still could be worse. Things have gotten worse. Um, these guys 
due to the issues with their displacement, we're going to have to get rid of the 3.1 inch guns. I know, I know, it wasn't an easy decision to make, but they had to go. Okay, <clears throat> we still need to lose 900 tons. Naturally, that's pretty boilers. We don't need a deuced. Okay, good news, we don't need to lose as much extra tonnage. Okay, we're gonna armor against 12s again. 12s at 5,000 yards, so we can go down to 4. Four and a half, and be the means twelves. Let's go fourteen and a half, like um, the Saratoga's belt is. And then, uh, how would reducing our beam help? situation it doesn't help the situation it gives the situation a more complicated issue of um, that tower not fitting Arc. Arc. well if the main belt's gone 14 half. Turret armor, 14 half. There we go. 14 and a half inch makes it work. Um, I just now need. I just now need a name. And name for this lovely ship. Um, So, the name we are going to give it I don't know. <laughs> um, USS Artero. Artero. Dominatos. Berlin is burning. Daniqua. Interimo. The Reich has fallen. Yeah, we got the Arteros on the way now. <laughs> Artero. We're gonna lay down six Arteros. Yeah, I know, stop complaining. South Dakota, you're not being scrapped yet. Oh, naturally, sorry, you're older. We need the space for other stuff. The CEVs, one through three, are gone now. USS Philadelphia is also gone to facilitate 
our new Vassal Cruisers. Then the old, the New Yorks that hadn't been scrapped are also going in for. They're going in for their refit first. And if the takeover of Ukraine gives us more tonnage to dockyards, then great. Great, I'll accept that. Okay, Britain and Italy are having issues. Full on sensor imposed guns, triple torpedo tubes, and naval bombardment tactics. Chicago has a crew issue. Well, the guys that we had sent off for being mothballed slash scrapped are gone. <laughs> so. That's good. Okay. Ukraine is now American controlled. Well done us. Should be anyway. <laughs> as much as I want to continue fighting on we just need to We just need to end it for now and come up with essentially get bigger fleets bigger better ships and orientate my ships more towards a um... take it easy. more towards a anti-destroyer focused force if I can because okay loads of commission to finish because we we saw what happened when we went up against enemy destroyers. Okay, do you have any battle cruisers? No. I did literally just get the better out of him. He's retired. Well, his country lost the war now, he's retired. Well, they're known as Soviets. I think the retirement is more... He's been offed. Okay, Franklin, Puerto Rico, Guam, and Ranger resume. Artero, Illinois, Const... Constitution, Alaska, Chippewa, and Virginia. You guys are not going to be constructed just yet. In Germany are rebuilding their battleship forces. Now, yeah, Slesian and Kaiser Friedrich the Third. As I said, are still going to be useful to us because of what I was able to do with that rebuild. Right, four turns we got the better armor. In a turn we get better rangefinders. So good news there. 
being that we can refit better stuff onto what ships are not currently being um, prepared or built. The New Yorks missed those two tacks and probably won't get those two tacks for a while as other other vessels take priority. The New Yorks had their midlife rebuild already. And if anyone has a problem with that logic, then they can very happily comment it and I will uh, ignore it. In being and everything that is a destroyer, is down to limited Chicago as you're stuck in a foreign port and I don't want you really stuck in a foreign port don't have to worry about you you're going goodbye okay so Artero Illinois Constitution Alaska, Chippewa, okay, Virginia, sorry, you're not being completed. And there we go, that's the financial state of the US Navy, somewhat leveled off right now. That only just obsoletes a hull. two turns on this budgetary stuff before we have to change it over for financial security reasons. Um, I think I could cut back transports because we're okay on okay transport numbers I think. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Don't oh, quote me on that, we were right. I was right. All along, our transport numbers were fine. And this turn as well, we get new destroyer attack as well. So, great. What new destroyer attack do we get? I don't know. But it's new destroyer attack, so. I am happy. Um, one thing I do want to try and do about with one of our about cruiser hulls before we get to the restrictive towers and have to actually cut down our turret numbers is if I could do an Artero uh, but with triple turrets. But our tarot for us is essentially our Asian core. If you want to compare it to a real life warship, it's our Asian core but with 14 inch guns and a few other stuff. Mark 215s, Mark 44s. Or the Mark 43s. Group 2, that's awesome. We have 22 battleships in service. Now the ones to test out the attack. 
I don't know. I don't know if we even should test it on a battleship. Um, One thing I do want to do though is I want to get rid of the older, t the older four-inch armed light cruisers, which the older four-inch armed light cruisers are the Anistons. Have them all mothballed and then if anyone wants to purchase, they can. If anyone doesn't want to purchase, well, scrap his torch. Providences, they're the ones selected to be kitted out with the new armor technology they're getting they're getting their this is midlife for them and they are getting what we are calling the NAT rebuild the first of the NAT new armor technology Which combines the quality of steel alongside the already discovered to work, the already tested armor scheme that is that was added to the works. I don't have much of other gear stuff on board as well. Seven inch fifties. Then the shell size is heavy. Keep those and Pushing you up to 25 knots. That's the Providence class. Prepared for the future. I need to double check, do we have any Breviton still? Because I think I... Didn't I scrap the Brevitons? Oh, double check. It's always good to double check these things before you delete their designs. But yeah, the light cruisers are going to be ones to begin the NAT program. Mainly because they're the only things I think we can put in there and not um, blow the capacity. Nope, we still have Breviton, Albany, and Montana of the Brevitons. Although, the rest of the Brevitons have all met horrible, horrible fates. Um, don't know how. <laughs> they just met horrible fates. Um, they sort of Uh, <laughs> got massacred by the Italians. 
Um. <laughs> Basket by the Italians and. Bulkheads 2. Oh, the light cruisers aren't getting that. So, <laughs> this lot. Finally, Scout Cruiser, new Scout Cruiser. Okay. Well, that's on the way. Benevolence, benevolency, benevolency on a level I've never seen this game be benevolent. <laughs> we got the text we need. And the two and two and five turns away. positive with Britain. Sorry Britain, but I can't have a positive relationship with you. You are one of the targets that need to be eradicated from this world for it to be safe. Fuel oil bonus one. Okay, Bremertons. Bremertons, you are sort of the next ones in line because you're not going to over capacity the dockyards of only three of you. Or at least, I assume not. Although, to assume makes an ass out of you and me, but. <laughs> Do you need actually? It's a 
reduction in funnels, but eh, I digress. I digress. You actually get walls tight doors, you get that stuff as well. Electro Hydro, you get quartz and three. Advanced. Oh yeah, you also need that, that as well. Your armor still holds up against 8 inch guns. Perfect. reducing your crew number slightly. Don't worry. It's for reasons that much better if you don't know, but <laughs> central to the ship instead. That then heavily reduces the crew numbers more, and I'm going to reduce them further still. Just because. You Brevetons are older ships now, and so if I can designate less men to older ships, they can then go to newer ships. Happy to do that. The destroyers, they're gonna be on the back burner of the rebuilds because <laughs> they're destroyers. They're destroyers, they're easily replaceable compared to the other vessels. Loaded. You free got in there was lighter than all the light cruisers. <laughs> okay. So we get Scout Cruiser 1 and then I'm going to hold off a turn. Just because then I don't over capacity the dockyards when we get the cruisers. Syria has signed with Italy. Congrats Italy on actually getting people to sign alliance agreements with you again. I, we still have ours with Bulgaria. The Bulgarians have been friends with us since the start of the game. And what they've got to prove, to prove it is only three surviving destroyers. <laughs> 
we really need to change that, but um, we don't have the capacity or the patience all the time to change it. Okay. We can't really do anything else until we get the new cruisers. Uh, Britain are scrapping battle cruisers. I, they're scrapping battle cruisers. I'm gonna take them all for myself. I love battle cruisers. I love using them because they're fast, they bring large guns, they kill a lot of stuff. They're great. But what about the armor? Shut up. <laughs> Reinforced long hull, dreadnought 4, TNT 2. We do have dreadnought 4, yes, but. Cruisers are more important. Much as I would love another capital ship class, we can't afford it. Well, we can afford money wise, monetarily, but can't afford dock capacity wise for a large capital ship class when. We're building new light cruisers to go alongside the Arterals, alongside the Arterals and just the entire fleet in general. Dreadnought Ford is another one of the, these ones though, the um, Texas-esque hulls. But, no, my hull to use right now is the Scout Cruiser 1. Only this tower option. at least for now this particular layout choice. That is great because it means that I can have a whole bunch of twin sixes on here. These guys are going to be more reliant on torpedoes than secondary guns. Because we know how effective torpedoes are in the US Navy. Um, just because 
those sailors who were at bar. Two and the sounds phase are gold. Nine thousand one. Nine thousand dead. thousand dead in a range reduction. Okay, and we'll we'll cover <laughs> we'll cover this ship as well. So technology's moved on from when we last did capital ships. And we can't do another twelve inch armed design. of the fleet. So that's fine. Force draft. in general to 130 instead of 110 it was at. Now, yeah, 14 inch guns are well and truly taking over the world of naval warfare.
my anti flash. The expected range is 15 is fine. Expected range is good same caliber. There's still no need to adjust to the two inch main deck system. Kind of like the actual New York class ships. These guys are going to be a little, a little less numbered than I've normally done with our ships. <laughs> There's only going to be two of those guys. Two Texas style ships, because. We need the light cruisers more, and we already have the arterials. Welcome to South Carolina. Twenty two those guys and you two are being suspended. Turns out twenty two is a little too much. Um, Cruises are commissioning up. Move on and have a turn. <coughs> the new light cruiser are on the way. New um, dockyard built up shortly. Now the Cootie's gone. The fifteens there, I know. Maybe try and get better for inch guns so I can get close to better five inch guns. And that's gonna be the end of the stream. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you all again at some point. So and so is going to suck them.